Dude, working late doesn't make you smarter than the rest of us. Hey. hey. Rajesh, you got some pixels out. Email Eddie and he'll place that monitor for you. Thanks, Noah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not the screen. What is it? Problem with the dish? Uh, maybe a bird landed on it or something. No, no. That, that, that's crazy. It, it could be. You better wake up, Dr. Petrato. What is it? Dark matter. Get me a triangulation. God. What is it? It's falling straight for us. This is Dr. Pachotto. Get me the Pentagon. Johan, have you seen my flashlight, the big metal one? You mean this? Oh, geez, sorry. <laughs> Running late, Rick's practice is out half hour. Just try to relax, Matt. This is supposed to be fun, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Ew, gross. Gross, you're gross. No, oh, you are. I don't know, pretty soon you're gonna be wanting to smooch somebody yourself. Never. Cassie, Good. can you go get your sister? <laughs> your dad's ready to go. Haley. Are you sure we shouldn't be doing this together? No, not really. <laughs> you know, I just, I feel like it'd be good if you, you stayed here and you bonded with the girls and, you know, I got a son with a serious case of teenageitis, desperate need of some father and son time, I think, I hope. But there's one thing that I do know for sure. Hmm. I'm sure that I love you. I love you. You're leaving? Yeah, uh, picking up Rick from practice. We'll be back Sunday night. Okay, so come here. Oh, bring it oh. Okay. There might not be any cell service up there, so why don't we try the short waves again? I haven't used that thing since I was her age. I don't even know where it is. Okay, well, you ladies have a good weekend and play nice, all right? Mm, Love I you. Do. See you Sunday. Bye. So, what shall we do tomorrow? Volleyball, motocross again? I could teach you girls rock climbing. Manny Petty.
enough of the phone already, right? You haven't said two words since I picked you up. I can't believe you picked me up in the Gruntmobile. Why'd you even buy this thing, anyhow? Well, you know, we needed something for camping, and a military surplus is a lot cheaper than a brand new Jeep. Besides, this thing can go, go anywhere, anywhere and do, do anything. anything. Yeah. Well, why'd you have to pick me up at school? And all my friends think you're like. Coolest dad ever? An environmental terrorist. <laughs> all right. You know, this thing gets like 10 miles in the gallon. Well, you thought it was cool when we got it. You even helped me fix it up, remember? I was 10. I handed you tools. Well, Joanna thinks it's cool. Hey, look, Rick. You know, your mom's been gone for a while now, okay? And we can't live in grief forever. All right, Joe's family now, all right? You don't have to love her, but you gotta get along with her. Okay, she's never gonna be your mother, but she's, she's got- She's not old enough to be my mother. Such a cliche. We're all just people just doing the best we can, okay? And you're playing the angry teenager cliche pretty well yourself. Yeah, well, one of us has to act our age. It's accelerating at 0.5 C. That's impossible. It's accelerating towards us. How can that be? Gravity's a bitch. Less than eight hours now. Well, the Secretary of Defense, the President's science advisor, the NASA administrator, the Director of Astrophysical Research at JPL, dozens of top scientists from around the world, and I all agree. There's nothing we can do to stop it. Nothing. They've put the military on alert, recalled all active duty personnel, and initiated continuity of government plans. But there's no way to stop what's going to happen. What about warning the public? Uh, evacuations? It would just cause panic. What's gonna happen? I'm still not certain. But I suspect we're all going to get a pretty good idea of how the dinosaurs felt. Uh, what, what should we do, Professor? Call your families. And then set up connections with every Earth observatory, every ground station, every Earth monitor everywhere. Keep the information flowing and learn everything we can about dark matter. Maybe the last thing that science ever does. Should be good fishing this time of year. I could show you some uh, some of those jujitsu moves that you always want me to teach you when I was taking those classes. Yeah, that was before I found out that your teacher was moving in with us. Here, be useful. All right, in uh, 3.8 miles, you're gonna turn right onto Dirt Road. Sounds promising. Dirt road sounds like an adventure. Traffic in downtown DC was snarled for hours today by a surprise disaster preparedness mobilization. Metro Police provided no further comment or explanation of why the exercise was not previously announced. Also today, the president left the White House for an unscheduled visit at Camp David. The White House press secretary said the trip was a much needed break for the president to spend time with his family and closest friends. All right, let's see if we can do this. Remember to do it? You can help me out. Not off to a good start. <laughs> South school. Fine. It's fine. It's good. You don't want to expand on that at all? Yeah. It's gonna be hot, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I was at the grocery store yesterday. It's a funny story, actually. Is this right? Yeah. And um, I was at the checkout, and this uh, the cashier asked me if I wanted my milk in a bag, and I said no. I'd rather keep it in the carton. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Come on, lighten up a little bit, come on. Are you trying to make this miserable for me? Come on, pull. Ta-da! About time. service. Well, that's kind of the point. You know, I really hope that we can, you know, we can talk this weekend, Ricky. You know, what's there to talk about? You married her for you, and now me and the girls just have to live with it. You know, I think she'd be really good for you if you just gave her a chance. Sure. Fishing tomorrow? seconds. Definitely northern Alaska. I've got video feed from the ISS. Put it on the big screen. Um, 10, 9, 8. I'm tapped into the USGS Seismic Network. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. straight through the planet. There. Seismic sensors all over the world. Get in the door frame. It'll be over in a second. 
second! Cassie, I'm right here. Are you okay? Kaylee? Come here. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. I got you. It was a big one, wasn't it? I don't know. Johanna? Johanna! Hmm. Johanna? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm right here. Hang on. You're bleeding. Let me Where? see. Let me see. It's okay. Oh. It's okay. <coughs> just stay calm. It's just a head wound. They look a lot worse than they are. What I need you to do is take your sleeve and put pressure on it. It's okay. I took a spell once on my dirt bike and it was bleeding worse than that. But after a few minutes, it was okay. Can you find a clean part of your sleeve and put pressure on it? What are you wearing? It, um... I... D just I, keep the pressure. Cass? Cass, are you okay? Are you hurt at all? Um... Um... I don't know. Wiggle your fingers and toes. What? Wiggle your fingers and all your toes. Can you move them all? Does it hurt? No, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Okay, um, I need you to pull that out, and then you're gonna suck on your finger and then spit it out, okay? Come on, you can do it. Come on, Cassie. Come on, come on. Oh, good girl, good girl. Now just put your thumb, put pressure with your thumb on that, okay? Okay, that's gonna keep happening. We need to get out of here. Yes, we do. I'm gonna get you girls out of here and we're gonna go get your dad. Well, should we use the stairs? Mm -hmm. Look, we're in a little bit of trouble, but it's gonna be okay. Just, just keep calm and do what I say.
Come on, climb, climb. Climb. Jordan, yes, you can, you have to. Come on. Come on, climb. Climb. Come on. Help! Down here, help! Come on. Come on. Come on, there's a ledge right up there. If we can get our feet, we can rest a bit. But you gotta climb, okay? Come on. We gotta keep climbing. I can't. Someone will come. No, come on, we have to keep climbing. Nobody's gonna save us, all right? We gotta keep going. Uh, I never should have come on this trip. How could I have known this would happen? I, I used to think you were an action hero. I used to think you could do anything. I thought I could be safe whenever I was with you, and now you're just a stereotype for a midlife crisis, and it's going to get us both killed. Look, Rick, no matter what I've done, okay, no matter what it looks like, I'm still the same on the inside that I've always been. Okay, I'm still the same father that I've always been to you, okay? And I will never, ever let anything happen to you. Here we go! Ricky, hey. Ricky. No, stop, stop, stop. What do we do? My phone! Oh. Try Dad. The cell towers are all probably down. It was a big quake. We could try calling for help again. Okay, on three. One, two, three. Don't stab me. We can't do this. We need to get help. There's no time for that. The building could collapse. Look, girls, it's gonna be okay. You just need to free my leg, and then we're gonna walk down the stairs and go outside. That's it, okay? I need you to stay calm for your sister. Girls, this is no problem. When I was climbing in Nepal, my buddy got her arm clean cut off in an avalanche. I had to carry her down a mountain. But we got to the hospital, and they reattached her arm, and she was fine. That was a mountain. We just have to go down a few sets of stairs. You this carried her arm too? <laughs> no. She carried that in her other hand. Cool. Come on. Wait. When you lift that up, there might be more blood. I'm gonna need a bandage. Well, we don't have any bandages. Kaylee, I'm ne gonna need you to rip your sleeve off. What? No, I just got this. Why can't it be hers or something? Sorry. <sighs> Ugh, it won't work. You're just going to have to take it off and use both hands. I don't have anything on underneath. Kaylee, look, we're just going to look away. Right, Cassie? Can I get some light?
Here. Thank you, Kaylee. Okay. On three. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, keep going, keep going. Is everyone all right? I think my arm's broken, uh, or or maybe maybe not. We need to reboot. We've got to see what happened. The network is counting on us to relay data. The the space station feed comes directly into the antenna. That that might work. Oh my God. KGSK News Radio 1138 on the AM dial. This is a dark day for the city of Angels and indeed for what we understand the entire world. At 6.23 AM, the Earth was struck by an object from outer space. Los Angeles was struck by a Tembler of at least nine on the Richter scale. Emergency services are responding, but are clearly overwhelmed. Buildings have collapsed all over the city. Fires are raging out of control and widespread looting has been reported. The White House, the Capitol, and the Washington Monument have reportedly been destroyed, but the President is said to have been at Camp David when the disaster struck and is unharmed. We will keep broadcasting as long as our generator is running. The best advice it seems to be to stay calm and... Probably we fell down the stairs. It's sad, but he can't hurt us. What if we can't get out? We could die. How much dad we're here? We are not gonna die. Hey, we're gonna keep going down the stairs and we're gonna go get your dad. What if there are more dead people? Cassie, look at me. I just want you to follow me and keep walking. And we're gonna get outside and we're gonna go get your dad. Dead people can't hurt us. There you go. <sighs> Shh. Come on. 
Come on. I think it's the neighbors. Ricky, easy, 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 buddy. Easy, 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 easy. I got gotcha, you, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you out from there then. Thank God you're all right. Is your sister with you? Hi, May. Hello, sweetheart. Oh, you've cut yourself. No, it's okay, it's okay. Can we get out here? We're trying to get in. That's the only way down. Come on, girls, help me push this. Come on. Hey, come over here, Cassie. I'm so sorry, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think so. Right, let me see. How many fingers? Uh, just one. Okay, follow my finger. I'm okay, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. Yeah? Really? Okay. okay. Hey, thank you. Oh, no, no. It's no problem at all. Oh. Hell of a quake, huh? No, oh, that had to be a nine. I have never felt anything like that. I wonder if it hit the city. Yeah, that's a good question. I got some, got some spare pants in here. I think I could use these. Oh. Thanks. Whew. Hello there. Are you all right, sir? Sir. My name is Roberto Gianelli. Sir is what you call old men. <laughs> I don't look old to you, do I? <laughs> huh? That's all right, miss. You gotta be 90 before you're old. I got a little bit, a little bit to go yet, huh? <laughs> what a sight to behold, like five angels descending from heaven. Yeah. What are you doing here, Mr. Tianelli? We should be getting out of the building. All right, you are. That's, that's for sure. I got out of my apartment okay, got in, got in the stairwell, you know, like they tell you. But then I, I couldn't make it down the stairs, so I thought I'd just take a rest. Come on, Mr. Gianelli. We gotta get out of here before this whole place collapses. I heard on the news on my little radio here before the battery went dead. They, they were saying that uh, this might just be in the foreshock, that the whole city could collapse. They were talking uh, maybe tidal waves even. It's okay. It's okay, Cassie. We're, we're almost down. Hey, hey. Don't you worry, little miss. We're going to be out of here in uh, two shakes of a lamb's tail, okay? I guarantee you. Come on, let's go.
the phone again. Wait! Turn off your flashlight for a second. What's going on? Look, we're there. We just need to get this out of the way. Foxholes and that? <laughs> of course, that was 60 years ago. We'll get you through, Roberto. I'll pull. You push. Roddy Jackson. Uh, Matt. Matt Mason, this is my son Ricky. Uh, you saved our lives. No, no, no. Your dad here saved your life. I just need a hand. No, he's right, we owe you. Huh? Wouldn't turn down a ride. Tree landed on my car. I was walking out when I heard you shout. You got it, and anything else you need. Well, I appreciate that. The roads are pretty smashed up. You got four wheel drive? Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got four wheel drive? All right. All right. Sick ride.
So dark matter passes through the planet, leaves a hole, but no explosion. It, it doesn't really make any sense. Not now, but once we study the telemetry, we might understand it and learn a lot more about gravity and the nature of the universe in the process. It's like a bullet that passes through jello. Except the Earth has got a warm, melty <coughs> center. More like a, a cream egg? And now the cream is filling in the hole. <laughs> That's good, right? It's the heat of all that deep core magma that worries me. Okay, look at that. Give me an estimate of wave height. This is Dr. Pichotto at Arecibo. We're tracking a mega tsunami radiating from the Arctic south through the Pacific. It's over 100 feet. Estimate wave height at least 100 feet. Oh my god. It could take out the whole Pacific coast. She's with her friend now. Friend? You mean wife, don't you? Just so. We need to get your girl someplace safe. What? No, Dad said if we ever got separated in an emergency, to meet at home. Matt's not here and our home is gone. Well, if we stay where we can see it, when he comes home, we'll see him. Do you think there was an earthquake in the mountains too? I don't know. But maybe we should get out of the city. The cops won't be able to handle this. Yeah, you got that right. Once people get in their minds, they get away with something. Even food and water will be what? No, no. We are staying here. Ugh. Come on, let's go. No! We have to stay here. <laughs> I wish I had that stupid walkie-talkie dad bought me. That's right. Matt is a little shortwave in the Humvee. If we could find a ham radio, then there's we could electronics throughout the street. There is. Can you show me, girls? All right. Okay. Quickly, go. Come on. Hey, call your Johanna. Phone was in the tent. Damn it, so was mine. Here you go. I don't know her number. What? It was in the memory. 310 226. Doesn't matter. No service. All right, try an emergency van. An earthquake measuring 9.2 on the Richter scale has hit Los Angeles. There have been scattered reports from other countries indicating this may be a global disaster. Blackouts blanket the up area and we're getting unconfirmed reports of large-scale looting. Authorities are warning residents to shelter in place and to avoid large cities. Ham radio operators are reporting that a meteor may have struck Alaska, but we have no confirmation that. Again, Maybe we should stay up here. No, I don't think this mountain is completely stable. Right, look, it doesn't matter. We gotta get back to the girls, all right? I tried a shortwave. Okay. Shortwave band. And that's what I've been saying all these years. Something like this was gonna happen and civilization would be over just like that. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Does anybody know what's happened? And now, just wait. The government will declare martial law if it's all rounding us up. You'll see. I tried 2160. W9GFO, W9GFO, this is W7THX, do you read? No way she's gonna remember her calls. Kaylee Mason, this is Dad, do you read me? Maybe when we get out of the forest. like the entire city just evacuated at once. W9GFO, Johanna, Kaylee, it's Matt, do you hear me? 
we're never gonna get home this way. Oh, no, 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 no. We gotta get down. I was studying this mountain. I'm a geologist at Caltech. If it keeps shaking, we could be in real trouble here. Uh, back road, maybe? Good work, son. Which way? Clip or a hairpin or something like that. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Look out. Look out. Step aside. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't always an old man, you know. <laughs> Come on, after you. <laughs> Guys, I have a real bad feeling about this. Drive faster. says you need a license. Yeah, I have one. This is W9GFO calling W7THX. Over. I'm impressed. Yeah, well, passing that stupid test was the last thing I did with my mom. W7THX, do you read? Dad? Maybe we can try from up there. All right. This is W9GFO calling Matt Mason, W7THX. No, what? Kaylee, is that you? Dad! It's a nice vehicle you got there. We're gonna need it. All right, stay in the car. No matter what. You two, out! Hey, uh, I'm Matt. Uh, it's my son Ricky and uh, that's Rodney. Yeah, I don't care about introductions. I said get out of the vehicle! Hey, look, we got a, we got a winch in there. Uh, maybe we could help you. Be happy to pull your, your truck out of the ditch. The radiator's busted. Have you got any epoxy? That truck ain't going nowhere, Oliver. We're taking yours. Stop! Stop! I said you two out of the car! Dad? Your dad knows what he's doing. Doesn't seem like it. Come on, man. I'm just trying to get my kid back to uh, back to the city, back to his, his mom and my daughters. All right, we we could take you with us. No, there's not enough room. Besides, you're a fool if you're going back to the city. Maybe they can come with us. Shut up. We just need to rendezvous with the other. Shut up, Oliver. Come on, please.
the right thing to do. Let's go. This is just like her. You have to put your children first. Drop the guns. Come on, get in. Just leave the guns. So much. Name's Oliver. Come on, come on. Hurry up. So where this, where's this other truck of yours? Dad, are you there? W7THX, this is W9GFO. Do you read me? That's it, Mr. Gianelli. You're almost there. You're doing great. Did you reach him? Not yet. It's okay, honey. You're in the light of sight. Are you sure you're on the right frequency? It's Kaylee, Dad. Over. <sighs> oh, Yvay, I should have never quit my Zumba class. Mr. <laughs> Gianelli, I'll do Zumba classes with you anytime. Come on, guys. Yeah, you should go with your daughters. I'm fine. Go. They're not actually my daughters. Oh. Aren't they? Make a reservation to Club Med on that thing. I think we're all gonna need a vacation after this. <laughs> How about Disney World? <laughs> Dork. Look around. Disney World's toast. Kaylee, what people are talking about? It's happening all over the world. Earth was hit by some meteor or something. Everywhere? Not everywhere, Cassie. We know your dad's fine. We just heard from him. Try again. Dad? Dad, are you okay? Is Ricky? Don't worry. We're okay. Hey, are you and your sister? Is she alone with you? Yeah, yeah, we're all together, but the building collapsed. Well, you, you say the building's collapsed, but everybody's okay. Nobody's hurt. Matt, Matt, we're all together. We're fine. Where are you? <laughs> Matt. The city's not safe. There's a lot of rubble and people are getting out of control. I need to get these girls someplace safe. Say again? We're safe. We'll meet you in a... Matt, where are you? Matt, are you there? W7THX, this is Kaylee. Over. We know where he is. He's coming down Route 38. Okay, we'll just have to... Head that way. Come on. No! No, Dad said we need to meet at home. We couldn't hear what he said. John, isn't the car under like a million tons of rubble? How could we go anywhere anyhow? Maybe we can find some bicycles. I wish there was something more we could do. Tsunami warnings are being activated. The USGS is monitoring the seismic quakes. The US military is getting its act together to start relief operations. You know, we're just an observatory. We're observing. I know. I, I said I wish there was more we could do. So many people must be dying today.
so how does someone end up with the name Rajesh Vasquez? Was your mother Indian and your dad Mexican? No. Yeah. And how does someone of Chinese descent, I'm, I'm guessing from what, the Shandong province? <laughs> end up with a name like Noah Smith? Noah Smith is a very traditional Chinese name. I was adopted, uh, and it was the Jiangsu province. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm glad we cleared that up. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh. What's going on? The weather satellites are going crazy. It looks like the superheated air created by the magma filling in the hole is negatively charged. It, it, its spin is creating static discharges in the thermosphere. What does that mean? The mother of all electrical storms. Send this to the Pentagon. If the same thing's happening on the other side of the world with a positive charge... A rendezvous with the rest of the group's about a mile ahead. All right, I'm not gonna have any trouble with this guy, am I? You saved our lives when you had no reason to. You seem to know what you're doing, and I'm guessing this vehicle can go anywhere and do anything. You'd be welcome to join us, all three of you. We got a bunker in the desert, used to be an old missile silo. We got weapons and food and water last years. No, I gotta get back to my family, thanks. Well, we'll all for stands. Bring your family. I'll come with you. If what we heard happened actually happened, things are gonna get a lot worse before they get any better. Earthquakes and volcanoes all over the world, that's a lot of ash and dust in the sky, which can cause a nuclear winter. Plus the power grids are down. It'll be years before that trench is restored everywhere. And you just know some fool is gonna use this as an excuse to start a war. <laughs> I think a bunker in a bunker in the desert sounds like a good idea. There's no telling what'll happen next. What the hell was that? That can't be good. It looks like it's only hitting the surface at volcanic events. Some kind of current flow through the mantle? I've lost telemetry. Me too. It's frying the satellites! Damn! Is that Dad's mountain? Of course not, honey. Don't worry about your dad. He knows what he's doing. We've got to get off the roof. But we could see where our building was from here. We'll be able to tell when Dad gets back. We at least need to get you undercover. Girls, we can't stay here. The city is the worst place to be in a disaster. There are too many people, people who are desperate, okay? You, Gailey, know what happens when people lose control, right? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, but we need to meet up with Dad. And we will. We just have to move closer where the radio reception will be better. We have to keep moving there, closer to him. Matt! Matt Mason! Are you there? W7? I can't stand! It's Kaylee! Over! Where's your truck? Long story. This is Matt and his son, Rick and Rodney. They saved us from the lava. Lava? Yeah, it's coming this way. We gotta go. Rodney's joining us. I invited Matt and his family, too. Okay. Everybody's in the back. What the hell happened to him? Same long story. If you find your family, we'll be monitoring on 3.4 megahertz. Thank you. No. 
thank you. Let's go. Good luck. Keep your heads down. Right, you too. Thanks for saving our lives, Rodney. He's on. W9GFO, are you there? How are we gonna get to the girls? Remember what I told you in case of emergency? Meet at home. Well, I'm sure they remember that too. Okay. No one can protect them like Joanna can. She's fierce. Fierce is good. Fierce is very good. Dad was coming down a long time ago. He's fine. You said that wasn't even his mountain. Of course it's his mountain. You've been there. Kaylee, she's just trying to protect you. She's always trying to protect you. Why is she the one you're always protecting and never me? The minute you came into our lives, it was always her. I, I was just treating you like an adult. I thought that's what you wanted. You knew I went out last night. And you didn't even care. You haven't said anything. You know what? I wish Dad never married you. I... Th I thought... I... I was just trying to be your friend, Kaylee. Not judge you. I knew that I could never be your mother. So I was just trying to be your friend. No, no don't you get it? I need a mom. Especially now. That I don't have a dad. This will be jammed. Everywhere will be jammed. If we leave, how will we find Dad? There's no time for that, Cassie. If we stay here, we die. Maybe if we could get to the airport or find a helicopter. Ladies. Can you fly too? No. Ladies. Perhaps this is your solution. Yes. Huh? All right, come on, girls. We got to get down. Uh. W7THX, this is W9GFO, transmitting in the clear. Matt, there's a giant tsunami heading towards Los Angeles. We're bugging out. Meet us in the hills where we had our third date. I repeat, meet us in the hills where we first had a picnic. W9GFO out. Mr. Gianelli, come on. Oh, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you get started, 
I am not going to be able to ride a motorcycle through the city on the brink of chaos, uh, let alone slow in a driveway. And I'm certainly not going to be able to make it down that ladder. I'll help you. I'll slow you down. But... <sighs> Listen, you've got those two girls to take care of. So don't worry about me. He'll die. Hey, what's going on? Listen to me. Come on. I'm gonna be just fine, okay? I, I thank you very much for getting me out of that old dark stairwell. I think it's better to have the sun on my face, huh? Hey, come on! That's pretty well worth it. <laughs> what about him? Cassie, you come with me. Kaylee, it's like that time we did motocross. It's not that different from your scooter. Yeah, don't worry, I got this. You're too late. Those are your bikes? They are now. Forget about it, honey. I'm taking the other one to my buddy. Maybe we could work something out. Come along with you. Keep you company. Just you. Don't need no kids slowing me down. And you better be good company too.
Is anyone else seeing this? All, all the weather stations north of LA are, are going crazy. And they're just going dead. Oh my god. The magma plug in the hole must have collapsed. Uh, it's created a vortex that's sucking in the atmosphere. It's expanding exponentially. The Coriolis effect should dissipate it once it expands to the equator. Okay. But first. We'll scour every sign of life from the face of North America.
Gentlemen, how's that report coming along? There's so much data from that day where we're still collating. Well, what can you tell me about Dark Matter that we didn't know a year ago? Uh, it's really bad. Keep up the good work. The latest seismograms show the faults have stabilized. With the pressure release, we won't see another earthquake for 100 years. 100 years? That's good news. <laughs> <laughs> We're able to start sending scouting teams into the city if you guys want to check on your home. Thanks, we'll let you know. What do you think, guys? You want to go home? Everything we've ever known is gone. Yeah. I mean, I know it was just a year ago, but it feels like a whole other world. I kind of like being a country girl. <laughs> what do you think, Joe? You want to go back to the city? <sighs> it doesn't really matter where we go. So long as we do it as a family. <laughs> <laughs>